Hi everybody and welcome back to our channel. Um, if you're new here, my husband Nick and I are full-time resellers. Um, I mainly sell clothing and homeware and my husband is a generalist seller and we make videos just sharing what we do. Um, so I've put together a video for you today just sharing 15 of my favourite clothing sales on eBay from last month and I hope you enjoy. First up are these Zara cigarette pants. Um, I bought these from a boot sale probably over a year ago now, so I don't really remember how much I paid for them, but it wouldn't have been more than a pound. Um, I was really struck by the geometric print and the blue is actually a lot brighter than it shows in the pictures. Um, so I really loved the pattern on them. They're a small size, um, so they took a little bit longer to sell than normal, but um, they did sell eventually for £15 with the postage included. I picked up this H&M kimono with a view to keeping it for myself because the print was so beautiful, but it sat in my wardrobe for over a year. I didn't wear it last summer and I figured I'm probably not going to wear it this summer. I guess I'm just not a kimono girl. Um, so I decided that it was best to resell it. Um, it went within the day, so yeah, I was really surprised at how quickly it sold, but it is beautiful, so yeah, I'm really happy with that. With the festivals and the summer holiday season coming up, um, people are on the lookout for kimonos again, and they're certainly very popular again this year. Um, so if you see any, definitely pick them up, because they're always a good seller. I absolutely love the print on this Sugar Hill Boutique dress. Um, it's just so pretty and so striking. Um, as soon as I listed it, I posted some pictures onto Instagram and it actually sold to somebody that I follow and who follows me on Instagram and her name is Sarah. So if you're watching this, Sarah, thank you very much for your sale and I hope that you're loving the dress as much as I loved it. Um, I was very tempted to keep it for myself, but I didn't, so yeah, I hope you're enjoying it. When I went to list this monsoon dress, I noticed it had um, a bit of a hole underneath the arm. There's like there's a zip just on the side underneath the arm, and at the top there was a hole. And I did think twice about not putting it on, but I was actually speaking to fake Rachel, and she's listed things that have damage and it's, they've still sold for her. So I had to let go of my perfection and um, I listed it and I'm very glad I did because it sold quite quickly um, for 16 99 that was including the postage. Uh, I think I paid a pound for it. I was so happy with this sale. I was literally doing cartwheels when it came through. I picked it up from a jumble sale for three pounds um, and yeah, I sold it for £75 with free postage. It's a really beautiful dress. It's brand new with tags, 100% um, silk, and just so happy that it sold for the asking price. This Laura Ashley linen top um, was another jumble sale pickup. I think I paid about a pound for it. Um, it's a modern Laura Ashley, and I've heard other people talk about the fact that they struggle to sell modern Laura Ashley. Um, I don't tend to have a problem with it, to be honest. I still pick it up when I see it. Um, it probably does depend on the print or the style of it. Um, so I always make sure that I pick up something that I think will be saleable. Um, and this definitely was because it was so pretty and linen is a very popular um, fabric that people are looking for. So yeah, this sold actually quite quickly for me and I got 11 99 um, with free postage. These Dr. Martins came from an auction. Um, if you follow our videos, you will have seen the auction that we went to um, and I bid on a few pairs of shoes. This one was a bit of an oops moment. I um, <laughs> didn't take my hand down quick enough and I paid a bit more than I actually really wanted to pay. So um, I think with fees and commission on top, they ended up being 
cost were costing us nearer to fifty pounds, um, which wasn't ideal, not at all. I would not have wanted to have paid that much, um, but I did, alas. And um, they sold, as you can see, I took an offer, and they sold for eighty pounds. So at the end of the day, I made a small profit on them, and I was happy to see them sell. These River Island shoes, um, they are unworn. Um, they're in absolutely beautiful, pristine condition. I picked them up from a boot sale, and I think if I remember rightly, it was a while ago now, um, but we showed them in a car boot sale haul that we did on one of our Sunday night shows. Um, I can't remember exactly how much I paid for them. They would have been between one and three pounds, um, no more than that. Um, but they have sat around for a while and eventually I got round to listing them and um, got $24.99 with free postage. I picked up this Topshop jacket from a charity shop um, quite a while ago now. Um, when I first picked it up I thought it was an, a vintage 80s jacket because it's just got that look and that style about it. Um, it's really funky with little metal studs on it. Um, unfortunately it has a little bit of damage and it's been listed for quite a while um, I think that's the reason why it hasn't been selling but eventually somebody's taken a chance on it um, I've dropped the price a little bit I had it on for much higher to start with so I dropped the price to entice somebody in and yeah it sold eventually for $12.99 with free post just wanted to mention the label as well. Um, I think I said this in my last sales video that um, the Topshop labels with the black stripe are Topshop Premium and they're always worth looking out for. Um, that line is particularly sought after and you can ask slightly higher prices for it. I was really pleased to see these next shoes finally sell. Um, I listed them last summer season and they didn't get picked up so finally somebody has um, picked them up this year um, I think I probably dropped the price on them because they've been listed so long um, so that's enticed somebody in um, yeah so I'm really pleased to see them go finally um, they've sold for 12 99 with postage included and I think I paid a pound for them at a boot sale If you're photographing shoes to sell at any point, uh, these clear Perspex shoe shapers are really essential. Um, I love mine and I use them quite a lot. So I'll link them below for you so you can go over and have a look. Um, they're really inexpensive and they're just um, perfect for photographing shoes. This next sale is just the perfect example of selling something that's on trend. Um, it's just the Sainsbury's 2 label and I think that the original price was actually a lot less than the price I sold it for. Um, so because I knew it was um, a style that was on trend, it's a floral button down shirt dress, um, it's also a large size, I decided that I would leave out the brand in the title and include all the keywords that I knew that somebody would be looking for for an item like this and it sold really quickly so I was very pleased with that I was very pleased it worked and um, yeah it's just the perfect example that you don't need something that is a high-end brand in order to make a good profit and just to add that I picked this up from a jumble sale originally and it only cost me a pound This is the last pair of denim shorts that I had listed. Um, I listed them at the same time as I listed my other denim shorts. Um, they took a bit longer to sell and I'm assuming that's because they're a smaller size. Um, it could also be due to the weather because it's been a bit iffy. Um, we've had um, hot weather then cold weather and it just can't make up its mind and finally it seems like the sun is out to stay um, and people are thinking about summer again. Um, so yeah, I got fourteen ninety nine for these um, and free post again. 
This was another jumble sale pickup. Um, I think I paid 20p for this. Um, it's been listed for a little while now. Um, it does have a couple of little marks on it, which could be the reason, or it might just be a seasonal thing. Um, but it has sold eventually for 12 99 with free post. Um, yeah, I think we shared this again in one of our Sunday night um, haul chats. So um, you've probably seen it before, but yeah, it took a while to sell. Peruna is always a good seller for me, um, but this particular one has sat around for a while and I eventually took an offer of £12 with free post on it, um, just to shift it really. Um, not sure why, it might be the colouring, it might be the style, um, I don't know, but I'm pleased that it's gone finally. I think I only paid a pound for it at a jumble sale. This next sale is a good example of having money sat on your shelf. Um, I'm sure I'm not the only one out there that's guilty of this and I'm sure that statement resonates with many of you. Um, we all have things that we buy and we put them on the shelf and we leave them there and for some reason it takes us a while to list them and this is one of those items for me. Um, I finally got around to selling them. Um, So I was incredibly happy that as soon as I listed them, they sold really quickly within a few days and I got the full asking price for them. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions or anything that you want to say, please comment below. Um, if you're new and you're not a subscriber and you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and don't forget to um, click the bell button so that you get notified of any new uploads from us. Um, and until next time, I will see you in another video with Nick. Um, take care, everyone. Bye.